Hi everybody, Lord Mayhem here with part 18 of the Mass Effect 3 Insanity walkthrough. N7 fuel reactors. This is the 5th N7 mission, if you're keeping count. And uh, this one is fairly short and self-contained. It takes place inside this uh, rather ominous looking fuel reactor filled with toxic radiation. You have to engage one of the NPCs in order to advance to the next area. Speaking to Captain Riley, this large uh, piece of machinery behind will start to move along you access. You'll have to do a little UFO catcher style crane game to get access to the area behind that. Serves as absolutely no purpose other than to block you into that area actually, but still, I'm not going to fault Bioware their decisions, except the ending, but we won't talk about that yet. This three switch puzzle, very simple. Center switch picks up the block, right switch moves to the right, left switch moves to the left. So you start with the block picked up, move it to the right, drop it, move back to the left, pick up the second block, hit the center switch to pick it up again, and the right switch to move it to the right. Try not to knock the R off the edge while you're there. There's some spare parts here you can salvage. Otherwise, there's nothing else of use in this room. Go back out and to the right. I have a visual on the fuel rod control, but radiation is blocking access. Same situation here. I'll find a way to vent the area. This looks like ventilation control. Once you've vented the first sector, you'll move down into the next area and unlock the fuel rods in order to initiate the first encounter. Right there, when you start the encounter, will appear a barrier engine that you'll have to destroy. Um, all of the husks and the one marauder will pour down that stairwell so you'll want to take it out as quickly as possible see a little flash right at the start so you can see right away where it is take it out first uh, and drop a singularity right at the bottom of the stairs or on the stairs near the bottom so that any husks that come down as well as the marauder that comes down will get trapped in it the Marauder, of course, you'll have to hit it with an overload to wipe out its shields before it comes down in order to be affected, but Garrus has got nothing better to do. With the Singularity up, your only real threat is from the Marauder. Just be sure that you drop another one as soon as the first one ends. Better to put them at the lower part of the uh, stairwell just so you have a clean shot at them while they're swirling around, but either way, as long as you have a clean shot, you can always move to the bottom of the stairs. The only key is to avoid them uh, running around you. I have no idea where that one came from. Probably came out the back way, but I have no idea. Anyway, once you've eliminated all the husks, move up here to the top of the stairs where there'll be some more... Uh, ammunition that you can grab then continue on to the tanks there's two tanks that you need to seal the first halfway along drop down and seal the tanks the second will be just in the next area and this will be where the, the second encounter is and the largest encounter and just like in the first encounter there'll be barrier engines and actually multiple barrier engines that appear immediately at the start of the encounter so um, when you've activated the second tank have your squad hang back um, for safety's sake down below in this lower area. Just set them uh, to guard anywhere up here. It really doesn't matter. Uh, realistically, they won't be doing any of the combat anyway. Once you restart the reactor, all hell will break loose, so be ready and uh, have your in position first. Immediately what you want to do is move to this stairwell. You'll see the barrier engine will appear to either side of this stairwell. 
The first one right here on the left wall. And then the second one just to the right above. Now, just to the left of both of these in the background, you'll see a third barrier engine. So once you've destroyed all three, you can then proceed to start working on the husks. Uh, drop a singularity to uh, keep them under control. Assuming the air will get off her ass and do it. Then try to keep them as far back as possible. I've uh, fallen back to this point because I was kind of late on the singularity. But uh, what you want to do is kind of hide behind this reactor uh, looking cylinder to the left and drop the Singularity uh, a little ways out from you. There will be Marauders that actually drop from above as well as uh, from the left-hand side of the area. The one thing you need to worry about in this section is a Marauder getting past you and sort of behind this cylinder to the left. That kind of crossfire can be problematic. Uh, it has happened to me more than once, so uh, make sure that you're using your autosave and your quick saves to uh, Restart the section if you find you're in trouble. If you don't manage to keep the singularities up and husks do get through, it can be a significant problem. Not really for how much damage they do on their own, but with uh, marauders firing at you as well, one husk can uh, take your shields down and your life fairly low causing just a little bit of marauder fire to finish you off fairly easily, particularly if they get in behind your position to the left. So try to keep the singularity out a little ways from you and control the incoming tide of husks. As usual, your L2 or R2 radials bring up your radar so you can keep track of where things are. If any marauders happen to get behind your area and uh, in behind this cover here, drop everything and immediately take them out. If you get into serious trouble, fall back to where your squad is and uh, try to secure that lower area. Then return to this upper position when you have a chance. Likely at this point, you'll be running low on ammo because this is a quite prolonged battle. You see that there are some static spawns just at the top of the stairs on the right hand side that you can pick up there. There are a few more back behind you. Just be aware of where the static spawns of, uh, of ammunition are. Once you've eliminated all the enemies in the second wave, you'll get a call from Captain Riley saying that they need assistance. You can choose to send one of your uh, uh, squad mates over to assist them. For best results, you'll want to. Uh, in this case, I'll send uh, Liara over simply because uh, we're going to get into a fight where uh, a brute will charge us and Liara being as squishy as she is, her crowd control abilities aren't really going to be helpful here in any case, so I get rid of her and save Garrus, who can really kind of stand up on his own. The Brute will charge you immediately, and so will the two Marauders, so what you want to do is kind of circle around behind them and kill the two barrier engines that are in this room to even the odds a little bit. Then uh, 
from behind, attack the two marauders and take them out, leaving you with just the brute that you have to deal with. Garrus is uh, pretty durable on his own, so you don't really have to worry about him taking too much damage. Uh, you can call him back to your position if you think that he's going to get in trouble on his own. But otherwise, between you, a single brute isn't such a big deal, even with the additional layer of uh, barrier that it might have from the initial attack. And as I mentioned before with brutes, you'll notice that their armor kind of comes in layers. Uh, after shooting, the layers will start to come off, but realistically what you want to do is shoot for the head or spine area. You'll see like an exposed section along the upper part of its back between its uh, sort of claw-like ridges. Shooting along that tends to uh, result in a great deal of damage to it, uh, especially if you're using some additional uh, ammo abilities like uh, incendiary ammo. Once the Brute and the two Marauders are destroyed, do. the encounter will end. Where is this last guy? I'm not sure why this last guy kind of decided to hang out and let you beat the hell out of his brute friend, but uh, screw that guy, he's dead. And of course, once all the enemies have been killed, you'll see that the autosave trigger is letting you know that uh, the area is clear. Move over to the console to initiate the final startup. You'll see a little bit of a uh, tremor and some light effects coming from the reactor itself. But otherwise, this mission is essentially over. Return to the starting position to reunite with the rest of your team and see the ending cinematic. And don't worry, there are no more enemies at this point, so there's really no reason to be cautious or deal with that puzzle again since all the radiation is gone you can now just use the ramps and that will be the end of part 18 of the mass effect 3 and sandy walkthrough and seven fuel reactors join us next time for part 19 rannick admiral chorus till then i'm lord mame thanks for watching